dear students now you are well aware of the different terms in immunology such as immunity immune system and lymphoid organs so this unit is about the lymphoid organs and these are of two kinds primary lymphoid organs and secondary lymphoid organs so i am going to cover these two parts in this lecture so lymphoid organs means the immune system consists of many parts that work together to defend the body against invaders so these comprises lymphoid organs which are primary and secondary lymphoid organs so primary lymphoid organs are the bone marrow and thymus all the body's blood cells including t and b lymphocytes originate in the bone marrow b lymphocytes remain in the marrow to mature while t lymphocytes travel to the thymus then secondary lymphoid organs comprise lymph nodes spleen tonsils malt and gallt so just see this pics showing the different types of lymphoid organs such as tonsils thymus spleen pears patches bone marrow and lymph nodes so primary lymphoid organs the here t cells and b cells mature so these are bone marrow and thymus secondary lymphoid organs are lymph nodes spleen tonsils malt gallt or cutaneous associated lymphoid tissues so let us study in detail about these organs so primary lymphoid organ first is bone marrow so it is a major hemopoietic organ producing the blood cells b cells origin and mature here it is also the site of t cell formation later on t cells migrate to the thymus so during secondary immune response memory b cells migrate to the bone marrow where they mature into antibody producing the plasma cells so second is thymus it is a primary lymphoid organ and is situated in the chest just above the heart it is oval in shape and bilobed structure it is covered by the capsule and it consisting of small compartments called as the lobules the lobules are separated by the trabeculae and each lobule consisting of two zones mainly outer cortex and inner medulla then there is one more organ known as the bursa of fabricius which is present in the dorsal part of cloaca of birds it is absent in case of mammals now the secondary lymphoid organs so these are the organs in which antibodies are formed so cellular and humoral responses occur in these organs so mainly spleen lymph nodes mucosa associated lymphoid tissue galt etc are secondary lymphoid organs so first is spleen so it is secondary lymphoid organ and it is the largest lymphatic organ and contains the white blood cells that fight infections it is bean shaped organ and located in the left side of abdominal cavity it is specialized in filtering the blood and trapping the blood borne antigens it is called as graveyard of rbc spleen is with capsule and divisible into two parts red and white pulp so it has showing the two parts red pulp and white pulp then lymph nodes lymph nodes are small solid and capsulated bean shaped glands that are located along the lymphatic systems in armpits and mesenteries it is a network packed with lymphocytes macrophages and dendritic cells so lymph nodes generally shows three regions cortex paracortex and medulla so you can see here in the pics the three regions cortex paracortex and medulla then mucosa associated lymphoid tissue these surfaces are prime entry points for pathogens 
and specialized immune cells that are located in mucosal tissues like the respiratory tract, urinogenital and gastrointestinal tract. So lymphoid tissue in mucosal epithelial surface are MALT antibody producing plasma cells, nasal associated lymphoid tissues in the back of nose, palate, base of tongue, tonsils, etc which help in combating with the airborne microbes. So they provide immunity against the airborne microbes. Tonsils are collections of lymphocytes in the throat. These are located in three locations. Lingual at the base of tongue, palatine at the side of mouth and adenoids in the roof of nasopharynx. So tonsils defend against antigen entry through nasal and oral epithelial route. Mucous membranes are effective barrier and provide non-specific immunity. So tonsil is also the lymphoid organ. Then Peyer's patches, these are very important areas in the small intestine, mainly in ileum. So these form the round patches of lymphoid cells that develop into secondary follicle in germinal centers and antigens are transported by specialized M cells which are flattened epithelial cells without microvilli. So pockets of M cells have B cells and T cells and macrophages. You can see here in the diagram. So this is the diagram showing the presence of villi in the epithelium layer of the intestine or ileum. And you can see here the flat cells which are named as the M cells and below this M cells there is the formation of the germinal center bearing the B cells and lymphocytes and T cells and this forming the Peyer's patches. Then cutaneous associated lymphoid tissue. Skin is important barrier to antigens and provide non-specific immunity. Outer epidermal layer consists of large specialized cells called keratinocytes. Keratinocytes, these are very special which secrete the cytokines and induce the local inflammatory reaction. Langerhans cells are also present which are dendritic cells. Then intraepidermal lymphocytes are also present. Then in dermal layer, it also consists of CD4, CD8 and macrophages. You can see here in the diagram that there are different types of the cells such as keratinocytes which releases the cytokines then in the dermal layer which having the CD4, CD8 and macrophages etc. So these are the cells which act as the primary organ as well as the secondary lymphoid organs. Now you should be able to give the answer like what are lymphoid organs? Give the structure and function of primary lymphoid organs. Give the details of secondary lymphoid organs. Draw the structure of spleen and lymph nodes. What are Peyer's patches? Where M cells are located? And what is malt and galt? And write about cutaneous associated lymphoid tissue. So just go through these topics and answer these questions. Thank you.